I hope everyone's keeping well. I know it's really difficult for all of us staying indoors so much, but um, I think that introducing a little bit of play uh, can be beneficial for the whole family. Uh, so over the coming weeks, I'm going to be demonstrating some games you can all play at home with materials that are readily available to us all. Uh, so this week, I'm going to be showing you the cotton ball blow. Uh, so for this game, uh, you're going to need something to mark off the start and finishing points on the ground. Uh, I'd use masking tape, but feel free to use anything at all. Like a knife and fork will do just fine. Um, and then also you're going to need um, either a cotton ball or um, I've actually decided to use a tin foil because I don't have any cotton balls in my house. Um, you could also use um, some tissue paper or anything else you can think of really. Um, so yeah, here we go. So to start off the game, we're just going to mark off um, the start and finishing points on the ground. Okay, so uh, my friend Claire over here is going to help out with that. <laughs> I, I'm using masking tape, but you can use whatever you have available. Um, a piece of string is fine, or, or even a pen or a pencil. This is Rosie. <laughs> Rosie's going to be joining us today. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to be using uh, some tin foil that we rolled into little balls. Okay, so on the count of three, one, two, three. I won. <laughs> and now to make it a little bit more difficult, we're going to put some obstacles in the way. Again, you can use anything at all that you have. <laughs> So, do you want to put yours over there? Thanks. Okay. You can use the cat as an obstacle too if you have any pets. Okay, one, two, three, go. Okay. I think you catch the drift. Yeah, so you can play this game um, with two people. Uh, or you can use the whole family and um, go into teams, uh, best out of three. Uh, yeah, just make like a game or competition out of it. Um, just have a bit of fun. Um, yeah, so I'll see you next week.